potential implications? John, this is the huge, significant event that we're just tracking in just the last couple of minutes. Uh, according to a senior U.S. official and according to reports on the ground, a Russian missile fired from somewhere off of Ukraine went into Ukraine airspace, but then veered into eastern Poland and actually hit a target, not a target, but a site in eastern Poland killing two people. This is the first time something like this has happened. This triggers all sorts of questions about what the reaction could be from NATO. I think we all know now about that Article 5 of NATO, that any attack on a ally of the United States, of a NATO member, would trigger some kind of response from NATO. So again, breaking news just about the last 10 minutes or so. We are tracking it. We'll give you more as we know about it. But yes, Let's talk about this huge barrage of missiles that hit Ukraine today, the biggest barrage of this entire war. We heard a few hours ago the air raid sirens. We heard explosions. Take a look at what we saw. What happened is a Russian missile was flying over this residential area. It was shot by Ukrainian air defenses. Some fragments hit that building, caused a hole, caused a lot of damage, and then pieces of that missile fell down into the street. You can see it right here being taken away by official. In incredible stuff. The fire raged from the building for a long time. One person was killed, one person injured. We were at the scene. We can't believe the casualty toll wasn't higher. All told, according to officials here, over 90 missiles were fired by Russia today in the direction of Ukraine from all sides. Ukraine says it shot down around 70, but the rest got through. Once again, those hitting power stations and other parts of the electric grid here, and that's knocked out power all over. Millions tonight here in Kyiv and across the country are without electricity. The president's office here said it was Russia's response to Zelensky's video message to the G20 summit today, demanding that Russia withdraw all of its troops from Ukraine and all of its borders be restored. Others think it might have just been payback for that spectacular retaking by Ukraine of the Russian-held city of Kherson. But again, back to the breaking news that we're following here, John and Sandra, potentially Im immensely significant. It looks like one of those missiles, according to a U.S. official, which Associated Press is reporting, we do not have this yet confirmed from uh, Polish authorities. It, it seems like one of those Russian official, one of those Russian missiles strayed across the border between Ukraine and Poland, hit a site in Poland, apparently just a, a civilian site there, but killing two people. We understand the Polish government is in emergency session now taking a look at this. We'll be watching it as the day develops. Back to you guys. So thinking about the potential repercussions of the missiles straying into Polish territory, Poland is a NATO member. NATO has something called Article 5, an attack against one is an attack against all. Is, is this something that could potentially rise to Article 5 level, or do you think this is something that will be contained just within the Polish government? There'll be a strong response uh, toward Russia and not much else. We can't predict that at this point, John, but certainly throughout this entire war and prior to this war, prior to February 24th, that has been the risk. That has been the danger that the U.S. and NATO allies have been very concerned about. NATO has been worked hard to prevent this war from happening, essentially because of this kind of danger. And it has flatly stated before and during, during this war that if Russia decided to intentionally attack any NATO ally, there would be a NATO response. And frankly, according to the NATO charter, John, that could be very strong. Is this an intentional attack? Is this a mistake? We will see again in the next hours, we're waiting for a response from NATO as well, how the alliance handles this. Back to you. All right, our Greg Palkow watching it all from Kiev. Greg, thank you.